And an accused killer in Paulding is still on the loose. Now another agency is getting involved to find Frank Tracy Jr. First at five starts now. You're watching coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 15's First at Five. Good evening, everyone. A deputy with the U.S. Marshal's Office in Toledo says finding the 47-year-old is now his number one priority. Frank Tracy Jr. is wanted for the murder of 21-year-old Hannah Fisher. News Channel 15, Sarah Wagner is live in our newsroom with more on the agency's involvement. Sarah. This division of the U.S. Marshal's Office certainly has its hands full. Last year alone, it arrested around 600 violent felons in Northwest Ohio. It hopes to add Frank Tracy to this year's captured list very soon. Nearly a month ago, a handyman found Hannah Fisher dead inside this Paulding apartment. Authorities say her boyfriend, Frank Tracy, is responsible. After weeks passed by with no sign of him, the U.S. Marshals reached out to the Paulding County Sheriff's Office. Once I called them, you know, they were like, yes, you know, we could definitely use your help uh, tracking this guy down. Tips are coming in and being followed up on. It's probably about a, a good half a dozen or so, although nothing has been solid. Still, the office is putting its vast amount of resources to work. We are actively working every angle that we possibly can to try to find them. The office says Tracy turning himself in is the best option, but if that doesn't happen, it's got a message for him. The U.S. Marshals, we've been hunting down fugitives since 1789, and it's not going to stop with Mr. Tracy. So, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm going to find them. The office may be based in Toledo, but it will go anywhere to find this fugitive. I've captured people in different countries. I've captured people that were five blocks away from where things happened, wherever those leads go, we're coming. With agencies set up across the country, all it takes is one solid tip to find Tracy. If the information leads to the arrest of Frank Tracy, I will pay that tipster $1,000. We also reached out to the Paulding Police Chief Randy Crawford today. He says his department is very grateful to the U.S. Marshals for getting involved. Together, he hopes the multiple agencies now working this case will find Tracy as soon as possible. Live in the newsroom, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.